I think this is the best kind of story to start off a new week with. Well, I'm not even doing my job yet. Hey everybody, it's Matt Thompson, known as the Canoe Guy. How you doing, Matt? Great, how's your day going? Well, it's going pretty good. Now that we're going for a canoe ride, am I doing this properly? Center it just a little, there, there we go. go. There we go. All right, how's that? Okay. Great. All right, I'll take the front, you take the back. Okay, so let's, um, let's take people through this whole setup and, and where the idea came from. For sure. You, um, is this, this is your canoe. This is my canoe. That you purchased for your use or for the community's use? So I had always dreamed of having a canoe that people could use. And when COVID hit, I was like, you know what? Like there's these folks in London, they make these beautiful canoes. And I think I could really use this for myself, but also for the community. When you say it's, it's like, is it an indestructible? Like this, this is canoe? a beautiful plastic canoe. So like, it's really heavy, it's a hundred pounds. Um, but part of what's fun about it is that because two people have to like move it, you know, you're, 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 you're kind of doing this with another person. And that's like, you know, you get to hang out with people. It's kind of fun that way, right? You start, so last year, so yeah. yeah. So last no March you started doing this. And then, and what's it been like? So you started lending it out for free. For free, always for free. So what it's been like is COVID's had this like heaviness to it. Yeah. And people are, you know, the, the places we used to hang out with people, the coffee shops, uh, remember when parks were closed? Uh, going to the library, going to the farmer's market, all that's been kind of like, there's less of it. And so I was like, well, what if we like gave people a new place to hang out, but not a new place like Hamilton, but seeing Hamilton from a different view, but seeing Hamilton from a different view with people who are part of your life during COVID. So you just leave it by your house. Yeah. Just, just you're, a, you're downtown here, yeah. right? They can come or they, they, they rent it through your Instagram account. Yeah, so Instagram and Twitter, you just send me a DM. Uh, you can also knock on my door, you can leave a note. <laughs> do you get people doing that too? Haven't got that yet, but I do want to put that out there uh, that people can knock on the door. You can come to. and pick it up and how long you get it for? Usually about four hours. Right. Okay, so we kind of have a game plan today that we got the canoe on this, like this, uh, it's on wheels too. Can we give a shout out where you got that from? Yeah, so I got a guy named Stu. Uh, Stu used to work in the steel industry. He's up in Ancaster. He's my guy. We just chat over Facebook. One of the loveliest people in the city. He's your wheel guy? He is my cart guy. He's your cart guy. He is consistently making better and newer carts. Um, you know, it's great that there's a person up in Ancaster who's dedicated to seeing this succeed as well. I don't even know him super well, but I know he's on my team. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, where do you wanna go? I think we head to the Cannon Bike Lanes and then we start walking. To uh, end destination is? We're going to Bayfront Park. Bayfront Park. We're going Park. to the beach. We're not going to the uh, boat launch. We're going okay. to the beach. We're, go we're going to the beach at, uh, at Bayfront Park. So uh, Matty Thompson, again, Renzi's out for free. Just uh, hook him up and you can uh, take the canoe for a spin. We'll be back on Morning Live. Can you canoe? On a little boat built for two. Morning! Well, we could not have picked a better day to be taking our canoe to the water. Back with Matt Thompson. This is his canoe that uh, he rents out for free to anybody wanting and willing. Exactly. And has it steadily increased, you find, over the past year since you've been doing it? Oh, I think last evening I had like three people message. And I'm like, hey guys, like this is so great, this is so exciting. Um, we're kind of looking at like late May, June at this point. Okay. So there's a lot of work to be done around like how do, you know, this is why we have a second canoe. Obviously we don't have it out today, but. You do have two. We do have two canoes. Okay. And it's pretty great to see like five people from a family going out, spending time together. Outside. Cause how many people, so we, there's two of us, right? Yeah. You, know, you need two, like this is pretty heavy to be yeah, doing Yeah, yeah, like this is definitely like two people want this, but then, you know, you can put kids in the middle, you can put a dog. Um, so you can put three adults in here, and then yeah. the other one you can put take two, and it's it's kind of neat. We had um, some folks, like I said, it was a family of five. It's amazing. And I was just so happy to be like, wow, like we're doing a thing that lets people spend time together uh, in a way that's safe, but during COVID. That's that's pretty great. And like now, that makes you feel good, well, right? Now that the listen, the weather's getting nice. Yeah. You need to get outside. There's only certain things we can do outside. Yeah. This is one of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're, we can, so your place is over off of Cannon. We're walking to Bayfront, which is about a 30 minute walk, yeah. right? So you got it on wheels, okay? Can people actually throw it on the top of their car if they wanted to go somewhere Absolutely. else? Absolutely. There are so many places within 20 minutes. There are so many places within an hour. Um, this kind of canoe would do beautiful anywhere in the city. And then once the order is lifted, you know, the Grand River is beautiful. You're willing to do that? 
you just gotta trust in people, right? Like that's what the city's built on. It's amazing, man. So, and you're you're not worried about somebody stealing her? If you steal it, we'll get another one. <laughs> and honestly, if you steal it, I'll probably chat with you and be like, okay, like what's going on in life? Like, like how, like be on the canoe. Like how can I help you out? Because like if you got to steal my canoe, like let's see what we can do. Because the way that you get it is through your social, so you have all their information, right? Well, yeah, that's the other thing. For the most but, part. But okay. yeah. But if uh, someone stole from the backyard, you know, whatever, we'll work on it. We'll figure something out. Wanna keep walking? Yeah. Making our way to Bayfront Park. Luke, you're gonna back up the whole way? Oh, you're stop you're gonna take the truck, aren't you? Oh, you cheater. We'll see you in a bit. We made it! That was awesome actually. Good morning everybody. Welcome back. He's the canoe guy. Matt Thompson. Gone. This is his canoe that he rents out for free. And uh, when we were first were talking, they were starting at your place. I guess I'll just off a of cannon, walking down a bayfront. You said 35 minutes. I'm like, whoa, that's a bit of a hike. It was nothing. No, I mean, it's a beautiful trip. Like, it's busy on cannon, but like, you know, downtown is beautiful. Yeah. And then also, you just run into people. Right? Well, that's what I was going to say. Like, the interactions <laughs> that you have with people. So, how many times do we hear, are you looking for water? Are you, yeah, are you looking for water? Here's my fishing website. <laughs> Here's my YouTube channel. Um, good job. Like yeah, people, just and just people, a lot of smiles, people right? People just want to interact, right? Like they, this is like exciting for them, and it's just like a little moment that they're gonna go, "Huh, that was neat." Yeah. And, and like, what do like anybody that that takes it off you? What is this kind of one of their favorite things? Obviously, getting to the water is cool too. Yeah. So like, when I ask people, I'm like, "So what was your favorite thing?" Half the people are like, "It was so great to be on the water with like friends and family." The other half were like, "I just had the most random conversations with people, and it was so lovely and unexpected." Well, it's like it's it's the opener, yeah. right? It's easy to open when you when it's a couple of people dragging a canoe along. That's it, and right? like props again to your pal in Ancaster, Stu, Stu and Ancaster, Stu and because Ancaster. this is like this is a dream. It's magic, right? Like, why would you even put this on your car when you can just use one of Stu's racks? Right? Because you're not lifting it or anything nope. like that. And like, how did you find Stu? Stu's just through Facebook. Just through Facebook. Right? Just through Facebook. I've been waiting for. Oh, a couple of years to find someone who actually made like a good, sturdy, hopefully made in Hamilton canoe cart. And along came Stu. Okay. Uh, so we're at the water. You want to put it in the water? Let's do it. Because everything comes with it, right? You got everything your life jackets, with you got it. the yep. paddles, you got all that type of stuff. Okay. And maybe you can give me a kind of a, a lesson or two because that's the other thing. Not everybody knows how to canoe. No, let's all do right. it. Okay. So let's. Uh, We'll put this in the water so you can get this canoe for free from Matt. Reach out to him through Twitter, Instagram. Instagram, Twitter, ways. yep. And then uh, see what availability he has and uh, you can be doing what we're doing on a beautiful Monday in Hamilton on Morning Live. And light paddle. Good morning, everybody. We made her. We are paddling, <laughs> canoeing with uh, Hamilton's canoe guy, Matt Thompson. This is his that he lends out to uh, anybody and everybody. Does everybody know how to canoe when they get it from you? They do. Or you hope that they do? I hope they do. You kind of describe the same as a... It's like a library. <laughs> um, so we're at Bayfront. Where are some other spots that you, uh, that you go? A big fan of Princess Point and the RBG. Yeah. Um, big, big fan of Dundas. So what do you do if you're going there, though? So if we're going to Dundas, um, typically what we would have done before the lockdown is you just get dropped off by someone. So we throw this on a car, right. get someone to drop us off. And then there's a beautiful two and a half, three hour paddle from Dundas. Probably my favorite in the city. Nice, man. Uh, you want to give me a little tutorial? Is it pretty easy for me sitting in the front? Like, are you doing all the work back there? Yeah, the person in the back does all the work. So you basically just kind of paddle left or right till you want to change up and I'm doing all the steering. You're steering everything. So it's my job to make sure that you're having fun and my job to make sure that we're kind of steering in the right direction that we want to go. You came to the city when, Matt? How many years ago? 20 years ago. 20 years ago, why'd you come here? McMaster. McMaster, okay, what made you stay? The people in the city. How has it changed in those 20 years? <sighs> it's a different city, it looks different. Um, but the people are basically the same. I think people are really dedicated to each other. They're really dedicated to the city. And I think if I can do a little thing that's like just a part of that story, sign me up. What's it been like for you to, to rent this out for free for the past year? COVID's been hard. It's 
been really hard for folks. It's been a lot of loss, a lot of mourning, a lot of death. And if this can be like a thing where you can connect with the people who are important to you in your life, you know, it's not a lot, but like spending time with the people who are important to you, if I can help make that happen, that's just kind of what my goal is here. That's pretty great. So now that the weather's getting nice, I'm assuming this is going to be more popular. So there's two of them. This is the 17 footer. You got a yeah. 15 footer too. I do have a 15 footer. Right. Um, Beautiful yellow canoe. Any advice for people reaching out to you to book or? Yeah. Um, let's chat, you know, two, three weeks out. Yeah. And let's make sure that we're, uh, we're making a time that works for you, works for the folks you're paddling with. You get it for the day or how long? How Most long people go four hours. Like four hours? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shall we go for a paddle? Let's go for it. Let's do it. Thanks, Matt. Have a Great good time, eh?